For those with certain disabilities such as multiple sclerosis, cerebral palsy, or any injury or illness that led to full or partial paralysis of the hands, which makes it very difficult to use laptops, tablets, and smartphones, there's a really great app that might be able to help. Let's do it. The software uses your head movements to control the pointing and clicking done on the devices. The people behind Sesame Enable has made this app free. It's called Open Sesame Touch-Free Control. Initially, they were going to charge for the service, but out of the goodness of their hearts and realizing how they could help so many people around the world who have disabilities and can't afford to pay, they decided to make it free. It's available for Android and Windows devices. I'm on an Android tablet, so let's go to Google Play Store and type Sesame Enable. Okay, it's this one right here, Open Sesame Touch-Free Control. I've already installed it. Okay, here it is. Let's open it up. Okay, here we are inside the application, but we don't really need to be in the application. And let's go to our home screen to test it out. So basically what it does is it uses the front-facing camera to track your face. And when you move your head to the left, the pointer goes to the left. When you move it to the right, it goes to the right. Up, down also. And to select something, just hover on that item for a little bit, a few seconds. And it'll give you the option to click it with that green button to the right. Let's give typing a go. So I'm in YouTube and I'm in the search bar. I just press F, U. And now I can select funny videos on the drop down to make it easier. Okay, let's select this uh, cat video. So I'm moving my head to the right, get it on that green pointer, and it's clicked. Okay, here we are inside Open Sesame, and you can go through some training. Click this training section right here. It will welcome you, and you can start some training, initial setups, basic movements, tap practice, swipe practice, uh, voice and navigation. So I didn't have to do any of this to get it working. I just open the program and start using it without the training. But you might want to do that. You might want to go through the training to make full use of the software. If you want to take a look into the settings, you can change and calibrate things. Click the settings. There's all kinds of different sensitivity controls. Click time, action select time. I didn't have to do any of this for it to work. But if you want greater control, you can adjust these settings for your particular needs. So I hope this helped you, your friend, or family member that needs an alternative way to control their devices. Please share with others who you think could use it. Thanks.